So I'm probably going to butcher the name of this game. It is called Heralum. Anyway, it is a first person uh, parkour type style game where your speed really matters. Your ability to be able to navigate the level and get from point A to point B is the only thing that is really recorded. And I do have to thank the publishers for a code allowing me to review this game. Now this game is different in many other first person parkour speedrunners in the fact that it has a very different aesthetic. And while I do think that this design choice was something of artistic expression, I do also think it was a bit strategy as well because only having black and white really does help the game keep up and give you a very fast frame rate. And I believe it does add to the clarity, the definition of a lot of the objects in the game. Now, I will say that I personally feel like I did miss some of the color. I'm not a huge black and white kind of guy, but I do respect the choice and I think it can work. And it definitely did seem to work in this game. And I think most people will not be put off by that at all. For those looking to dive into the lore of this game, I have to say it's a pretty shallow dive. There isn't a lot of story. The game starts off with you basically learning a quick tutorial on how the controls work, and then you're set off into your first level, where this is more of a vertical race, where it has you going down uh, quite a bit. Like most of the map, it feels like you're dropping down, you're trying to find holes in, you know, the grating or wherever to be able to fall deeper and deeper until you you find bounce pads that help you jump back up and get to your final destination, so to speak. Uh, the second level, though, isn't as vertical when it's more horizontal as you're looking at a sort of a plaza where you're going, again, in a linear, more style of point A to point B. Now, I will say some of the special moves and some of your abilities like gliding and dashing is pretty cool. I was confused because it seemed like on some levels you're encouraged to use them multiple times as they recharge and some levels you're not. And that really does give you the sense of um, uncertainty as you're not sure what you're going to do or how you're going to accomplish it. And most of it I can see as being useful as uh, finding an alternate route or even a way to get you out of a tough situation if you've made a mistake. Now, I will say I think the, the dev team does have something here, a bit of a cornerstone, something to start with. But that's not where I believe that they should end with this project, as I think that there's a lot of room for growth. Now, I know we don't like to compare different games, but in some ways we have to, especially when it's genre-specific. And looking at a game like Neon White, Ghost Runner, even Mirror's Edge, all of these became more engaging because of their story because they had just a little bit more to tell you not to mention the fact that you do at some point need a motivation i do think like if this game was purely for competition or even streaming it would be just fine and i think it would work well in those situations but as for like a single player experience i don't know for me it, it was lacking like i don't really have a, a motivation. I don't know anything about this character. I don't know why we're running. And I do want to find out, but without much of a story, eh, you're not going to find out. And I will say it's really punishing because you have to get a silver medal to be able to move on in most cases. And that is not an easy task. This game will have you ripping your hair out at times. Definitely is not something I was very good at. But I also know that we hate comparing games, but I think you almost have to, especially when it's genre specific. And I have to say, when this game is compared to the likes of Neon White or Ghost Runner or any of those games, it just feels like it's lacking a whole other aspect of the game. Characters, story, what's going on? any of that motivation is just kind of wiped away. And I think that that's something that could definitely be worked on and added to. And I think they have a good structure to hold much more of this game. You know, the actual uh, black and white or noir style to it, I think works well. I even think that the idea of being a thief is also a really great idea and you're trying to escape from something. Give me just a little bit more and I think I would enjoy this game a lot more. Maybe also not as punishing. But again, I think that this is one of those games like if they were trying to just go for a competition type game. 
or a streaming type game, then I think they got what they needed. I just feel like, personally, I would like to see them have added more to this game. But, I don't know, that's just my thoughts. Curious what your guys' thoughts are. I do also want to say that as far as performance, it performs really, really well. It was pretty surprising how well it did. And even though I'm not like a frame rate nerd, <laughs> I will say that it didn't seem to lag at all. I didn't seem to notice any issues with that. Now, it's not saying that I even know how to record that or even figure that out, but just to the eye, it played really well. Now, I will say for me, I would give this game a 5 out of 10. I would like to give it a little bit higher, but it felt like it was missing half a game to be honest, as a first-person experience, or not as a single-player experience, rather. I just felt like there was something more, and the game was holding back. Like, this was almost like a demo of what the actual game could do, but you're missing out on the story. I don't know. That's just my thoughts. Curious what your thoughts are. Anyway, take care, everyone. Love y'all. Bye-bye.